Hello and welcome to Rocket League for the PS4, also on the PC. And this came out um yesterday for the uh and then met with some serious pro online problems with uh, servers not going up and then also problems with um at least for the uh PS4 version, PSN being down for a better half of a day. But um right now I'm gonna do a video on the single player as multiplayer seems to be fucked. Um this game is all about multiplayer. So, okay, so there's there's finally people in the playlist, so they're coming up, but I'll I'll do a, I'll do that later until there's more people. Um right now there's 66 I don't know what this means. 66 um 1000 67,000 people um playing now. I bet that's a lot of it. Bulk of it, it's supposed to be crossplay. A bulk of that might be is definitely PS4. And um on on the PC, it's on PC for 20 bucks, but uh this game is very interesting. Um, I kind of—I don't know what to think of it. I—I um, I, I kind of want more from the game, um, but in terms of, let me just start off. It's bad. There's, it's twenty dollars. I feel like twenty dollars is a little bit much for what you actually get. Um, so you can play online uh, with, uh, with uh, you know. Duels one on one, two on two, three on three, and then uh, chaos, which is a four on four, and then the ranked uh, games is one v one, two v two, and three v three. What I see right now, like just looking at it, it's, I really like what they've done here. I, I like how they say how many people are, are online, how many people are in the playlist, and all that stuff, and and you can also um, sort by region. So I have U.S. only, and I, they presumably have Oceania uh, servers in Australia, which is nice, and. In Southeast Asia and then uh, Europe, but I, 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 that ping is gonna get crazy. So I'm just gonna use the U.S. But again, I'll save that for another video. But right here, it, it looks pretty cool. I haven't played online, so we'll wait until that. Um, that, but uh, you know, it's it's kind of impressive what they've done here. They've really threw a lot of options in here. Like you could change the FOV, um, camera height. You know, the is it up or higher? You know, I think I might get get a little bit higher camera angle, camera distance. Um, how is that different from FOV? Oh, okay. So if you pull back, it maintains the same FOV. So it just gets narrower and narrower, I guess. I don't know. Uh, camera swift swiftness, camera swivel speed, ball and indicator, hold hold ball camera, just tons of options, and then fully customizable, um, close, close, fully customizable uh, button key, key maps. And this is this is what I want from more console games uh, in terms of just being able to map any button to any anything you want. And uh, so there is te voice and uh, text chat. Again, that leads back to this that it, this is also on PC. So I I feel like voice chat is going to be a key part in this game, but I don't think a lot of people are going to be playing that. Even, um, you know, tons and tons of options. This is really crazy. I, I really enjoy this disable crossplay. And maybe that um, allows you not to play with PC. Metric, ball arrows. It's, it's pretty crazy. Oh, vertical sync. That's weird. I've never seen that on a uh, console. That option, maybe on um, Warframe, V-Sync is uh, syncing every frame up so you don't get screen terror, but it also in increases input lag, and um, and uh, can it does drop your frame rate. But it's it's pretty cool. Like there's tons of stuff here. Let's see what stats. Yeah, this online this. Um, Replays. I guess you could save the replay. Yeah. Uh, another cool thing about this game is tons of customization, is which is pretty cool. Um, it would be nice to see a preview of what these ga things are, but it's all the vehicles are exactly the same. But I think the hitboxes are different. So like the Roadhog and the Merc are, um, I guess, like a different, like a like a bigger class and so they there's a hitbox there and so they they're more like pushing forward instead of bringing it up back up um decals I'm surprised I haven't unlocked uh, different paints tons of different paints uh so you got your blue and orange team cool so it, I mean if you're colorblind metallics glossies and then unlockables of um different tires OEM but again none of these are um you know, they add performance or anything, hats, 
Cool. Then as Edge of Space is is really interesting. There's a the little neat, little winks and nods at other things here. There's country flags, blah blah blah, Edge of Space, and then um, <clears throat> for single player there's expedition expe exhi exhibition. Wow, you know. Two one two one v one two v two three v three or four v four with bot uh, difficulty being unfair all star pro rookie. Um, let's uh, let's do one match. We'll do a three v three. And the... I'm impressed by the visuals of this game. It looks great. It runs great. It uh, sounds great. Everything sounds great. But it's just like I don't know about the gameplay. Uh, for me, for me, I can see how some people would like this, but for me, um, you know, take it as it is, it's just, I don't think it's that interesting. So here's the problem I have right here. So, like that. It's... Uh, like, I mean, that's not, is, okay, that's gonna uh, happen in single player, not so much in multiplayer, but it's just like... That's a thing that could happen, and it's it's uninteresting, and it's yeah, it's just. I mean, I, again, playing with bots, but I I can bring it up a notch, but like, it's it's only a minor thing. It's only gonna affect a small amount of people, a lot of stuff. But it like getting into gameplay, the the cars control insanely well. So we got uh, right uh, R two is accelerate. Our uh, L2 is decelerate. Um, I rebound it, so you know you can jump in this game, which is kind of cool. But it's just like uh, you just lose. There's just too much chaos. It's adding chaos into the game. So when the bu there's just like it feel like there's not enough gravity in this game. I feel like it's just too easy to like get the ball up in the air, and then you're just sitting there with your thumb up your butt and just wondering, okay, can, can, can you come down now? You know, I can I can press square to uh, to do a drift here, which is kind of cool. But like, it's it just for me, I would rather not have the jumping. It, I think it just adds too much like variables to the game. So it's like maybe down the line, like if you dump like 30, 40 hours into the game, you understand how that stuff works. But like as a new person, like coming in, it's like. This is way too much. Like I, like I could totally see people seeing this jump stuff and like getting turned off. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, some of these replays I really don't like. I feel like they're just like, it just takes too long. There's too much downtime. So when you score a point. There we go. Uh, the 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 maps look. The tracks look, I mean, they're tracks just like soccer or, or fields just like soccer or football or cr cricket. I mean, they're all the same. There's no difference except for the outside scenery, but, like, it looks really gorgeous. The, some, most of the maps, uh, fields have, uh, have this, like, kind of grass on it. It looks really good. This game looks gorgeous. And, of course, that guy doesn't do anything. The AI is something weird. I bet it was really hard to the code AI. Um, but I'll, I, every time AI is on my team, I feel like they there's a chance that they will score actually on your own goal. Um, you know, they they will actually dribble the the ball back to your side of the field, like like some sort of glitch in the AI saying. Hey, uh, forgetting which side they're on. Um, but it, it's... It's a little bit loud sometimes. I, f I feel, again, I feel like there's just too much downtime. And all that stuff. It's like, just, can I just get back on the ground? Uh, these orbs, these things on the ground, they give you some boost, and then the orbs give you 100%, and when you go in fast enough, you can, uh, Damn it. You could blow shit up. You could run into them. I feel like on online that could be a problem. I could expect a lot of people to be doing that. Uh, it could be really fucking aggravating. Yo. But yeah, this is this like this is the game. Um. 
There's really not much to this. This is why, like, I feel like 20 bucks is a little bit much for, like, really not much here. Of course, I mean, like, oh yeah, but I played this for 50 hours and I got tons of time with it and... Well, it's just like, it just doesn't feel... It just, I mean, for what this game is, it's really, like, there's no storyline. I feel like a $20 game that lasts me, like, five hours is gonna, it's gonna be f better than a game, an online game that really just... You're gonna, you're gonna hit a ball at some point, and, you know, it just, it's gonna get boring, and then the people, the, the rookies are not gonna come back. For the noobs, are just there's going to be no fresh supply of uh, of people because it's going to be twenty dollars. That's a lot for an online like game, like strictly online. Like the single player is okay, but it's just like you're not going to you're not playing it for the single player. You're playing it for multiplayer, and so like maybe dropping it down like fifteen bucks might be a little bit more attractive for some people. There we go. Like. I mean, it's it's definitely gonna go since it is on Steam. It's gonna go on sale tons of times. Ugh. Another thing I wish was like maybe in the unranked games, the um, they don't have uh, um, collision or something. Like I feel like collision is just too much of a pain in the ass. I feel like there's gonna be a, especially even online. There's gonna be a lot of people just. Um, just running into you, just like mind, mind, mindless dashed for the, uh, for the ball. And of course, as you get playing, a lot of the people will quit. And then you're gonna be left with people that are just like hardcore crazy. Ugh. Like, shit like that is crazy. Like, check this out. So I bashed it in. It bounces off of that a couple times. Uh, and then he hits it in. Like, I feel like you shouldn't be able to hit your own into your own goal. I feel like there needs to be, like, some different rule set for, for you know, different play... For different, like, levels of play. Um, it would be better just to ease people into the, um... Into the game. It, it, the games are also a little bit too long. I feel like five minutes is is a little bit too long. I think games should be two minutes, and then like, of course, this is the the single player stuff. And so I don't know if there's replays there, but like having the replay and then sitting there for three seconds. You know, waiting for the countdown. And all that stuff. It's just... Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, it, it's it's not bad. I feel like its only problem is might be the, like, the price point and what you get here. Um, again, they did have a beta, and I'm still wondering why the online is taking so long. Like, it's... We we hit the point where it's okay to launch a game that is broken. We've hit a point where um, you know nobody. There's a thing now. People defend a game launching, and it's and it launches like, oh, I can't join the server. It's like, uh, no, we hit we we passed that now. We like, no, you do you did the beta now. Like, just launch the fucking game. Um, you know. But yeah, that's this. That's the single player. It's, you know, there is a season. Uh, Can I just quit here? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There is a whole season, like like in like a like a pro sport and all that stuff, and it's it's kind of boring. Like I, you know, I you're fighting the same it's just like expeditions over and over and over and over and over again for like a long time and then you do that um, you can modify the, the difficulty but I feel like um, yeah, this it's a little bit too much like the I don't think adding the difficulty will make it hard easier because I still or harder because I still feel like some of the times my own teams are gonna score on our own goal um, and all that stuff. So it's 
it's not bad. It's just, I don't know where to go with this game. You know, it has a lot of potential. You know, this whole customization stuff. Just really wish this was unlocked. Uh, you know, different paints. What is the point of the accent when there's... Huh. Different paints and all that stuff. It just... It's cool, but, like, is it enough for $20? You know, there's tons... It looks like there's tons of tracks, so, like, I've won seven times. I've driven three miles with this... With these tires, and... You know, I've boosted for seven minutes. I've made seven goals with this hat. I've played 55 minutes with this flag. That That's cool and all, but, like, it's just... I just... You know, there's training for your play, striker aerials, and all that stuff, but I just... I don't... I'll probably play multiplayer for, like, a few times and just get a better peg of what the what the player base is like, and then maybe, you know, call it. Like, it's... It's a sequel to, you know, supersonic, aerobatic, rocket-powered battle cars, and, like, that game kind of fizzled out real fast. Like, it came and went real fast. This game is... Pretty good at, in some points, but it's just like twenty dollars is a lot for a multiplayer game that is very unique. Like maybe a like a first-person shooter, third-person shooter, twenty bucks. You know, it had a little bit of storyline, but like this is just like versus bots and then online. Um, you know, they did do a lot of work on this game, and it, it looks gorgeous. Like, look at the the grass down there; it just looks gorgeous. But it's just like. I don't know what, if this game would have done anything. So it, it's it's free for PlayStation Plus, which is hilarious because you need PlayStation Plus to play online. If you don't have PlayStation Plus and you bought this, I feel really bad for you. Um, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense why you would buy the game if you don't have PlayStation Plus. Uh, like, at least on the PS4, it's just like, are you kidding me? The game's free for a month, and you can't play it online, so... Anyways, I hope this is informative. You know, I'll, I'll check back uh, in a make a video a couple, in a couple days, um, seeing how the multiplayer is. And anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe.